Hello everyone, welcome to Lime Guru channel. In this session, we will learn about how you can apply window aggregations in a Spark structured streaming job. So what we are going to do is we are going to consume real time messages from Kafka in our Spark job and then we are going to apply window operations and we are going to learn practically how window size, sliding window duration, all of these concepts work with respect to real time data set. So let me tell you about uh, the project structure first. So in the left hand side, you can see I have one project Spark streaming window aggregation project, which is a standard Java project Maven based. I have pom.xml, which defines all the dependencies of my Spark streaming, Spark core and Spark Kafka connectivity. All those dependencies are there. Then I have my Java class inside SRC main resources. So if you see here, this is my Java class. Um, um, uh, my structured streaming job in SRC main Java. So this Ja this class we will be understanding and we will be running uh, to do the aggregate operation and this is the data set which is available in this project structure so this data set we are going to send to my spark job and then we will be uh, running that spark job uh, on these messages we will do the aggregations on these messages so if you look at these messages uh, let me tell you about the data set first in brief so that it's easy for you to relate uh, in the program that what we are doing with respect to data set. So this data set has two attributes primarily word and message timestamp. So to keep the thing simpler, every word in all the messages is, is a hello. So all the messages are sending hello word, but a different message timestamp. So what we are going to do is we are going to count that how many times this word appears in different windows over a different period of time. So when I say different period of time, so if you look at these messages, then there are certain messages from zero to 10 seconds. So if you look at the time stamp carefully, this is zero, one, two, seven. And this is a second part. So second part is zero, one, two, seven. So it's in zero to 10 seconds. Similarly, this is in uh, 20 to 30, uh, sorry, 10 to 20 seconds. Similarly, this is in 20 to 30 seconds and this is in 30 to 40 seconds. Now 0 to 10, I'll be pushing 7 messages, uh, sorry, 4 messages. These are 4 messages. 10 to 20, I'll be pushing 6 messages. 20 to 30, I'll be pushing 3 messages and 30 to 40, there are around 12 messages which we will push and then we will see that how Spark aggregates these messages. We will be counting these messages in a different window in a different period of time. And then we will see that how Spark job aggregates consuming the messages live from Kafka. So that was about data set. Now let's jump into the program. So this is my main job, my structured streaming job, which has a main function. Now for what I'm doing is first I'm creating a Spark session pointing to my local master. Everything is running on my local MacBook. So I'll demonstrate everything on my local. Next, I'm going to read the stream from Kafka and the Kafka is also on my local. If you see the bootstrap servers, it is my local host URL. Then I'm going to subscribe my topic. The name of the topic is my topic where we will be pushing all those messages, which I just explained to you. And then this job will start consuming it and then we will ag aggregate it using window functions. We will be reading the latest message messages only uh, because starting offset we have configured as latest. Now after that what I'm doing is I'm going to read the message from Kafka and I'm going to parse those messages. Different attributes will be parsed in the data set. What I mean by parsed? So if you see uh, uh, when we when spark consumes the messages from Kafka, so it's treated as a single message, but uh, we have to convert it into data set where we have to parse these attributes and convert it into uh, different columns. So word should be in a different column message timestamp should be in a different column. So we'll have to read parse and convert it into column based data set. So this ma message parsing is being happened in these lines from line number 22 to line number 27 and I'm not going to cover this in detail because I've already created one video in depth that how to parse JSON messages uh, in Kafka in Spark streaming job. So I, I'll share the link for that video uh, in this video description. <coughs> uh, but what uh, I'm we are interested is once the messages are passed, 
then how we will aggregate after that so in line number 27 i am going to get my data frame which will have two columns word and message timestamp and now let's understand how we will apply window operation so this is the main piece of code where my window operations aggregations are happening so let's understand one by one what each function does so for the first thing i'm saying is that i want to do group by what type of group by i want to do i want to calculate the count uh, what count i want to calculate i want to calculate a count of this column i want to calculate how many words have appeared but what is that uh, timestamp based on which i want to calculate the count this is being driven from message timestamp in my message what timestamp i need to consider i know i want to calculate count in last 10 seconds every 10 seconds so this is my window size and this is my window sliding duration so i want to calculate number of times this uh, any word has appeared in last 10 seconds every 10 seconds so this aggregation will be happening in last 10 seconds of data every 10 seconds so this is the meaning of window size and the sliding window duration okay so now let's say the count is calculated for last 10 seconds of messages every 10 seconds then i'm going to write the data into my console as an output and the output mode for this structured streaming job is complete so this is my complete uh, program let's try to run this program now so let me run it my structured streaming job so let's wait for the program to start up it may take few seconds till we get to the ready state of pushing the messages to kafka so we are still let me zoom in the console output so it's still getting started okay this has started now you can see it has connected to my kafka topic my topic it's reading the data from my topic and the first result is this is my aggregation which is blank because right now i have not sent any messages let's send the messages uh, as i said these messages are in different time frames time this is a time series data these first four messages are first 10 seconds then next 10 seconds then next 10 seconds and then last 10 seconds 0 to 10 seconds 10 to 20 20 to 30 and then 30 to 40 let's send two messages from 0 to 10 seconds let me open my kafka producer let me launch my kafka producer so i'm going to connect to my kafka producer topic name is my topic so kafka producer is up and running now let me push two messages now so I have put two messages I have pushed two messages let's see what's the output on console for the spark structured streaming job so the computation is still happening aggregation is still happening uh, in the background so these are getting logs getting printed let's wait for the output to come it's taking some time okay the output is there now so you can see here it shows the aggregation from 0 to 10 seconds the aggregation is that hello word has appeared two times because i have sent two messages just now in a 0 to 10 bucket i have sent two messages it's showing count two let's send rest of the two messages now can you relate what should be the output now the messages that i have sent right now those also belongs to the same window which is 0 to 10 0 to 10 the count was 2 and i have sent two more messages in the same time range which is 0 to 10 let's see if the output has been generated or not so yeah output has been generated so you can see now from 0 to 10 the count is now changed to 4 initially i sent two two messages from 0 to 10 window then i sent two more messages in 0 to 10 window total count became 4 now let me send more messages but in a different window which is 10 to 20 let me send all these six messages in one go from 10 to 20 can you relate what should be the output now 0 to 10 was 4 and i have sent 10 more uh, sorry six more messages from 10 to 20 window so let's see what output it generates so if i see the output now you can see there are two windows in the output now because 
now the messages are distributed in two windows 0 to 10 4 4 messages and 10 to 26 messages so now you can see that how this time series data is getting aggregated at a window size level every 10 seconds we are computing uh, the count and in a range of last 10 seconds only so it calculated last 10 seconds of data from 0 to 10 and then uh, 10 to 20 so the window size is 10 seconds now let me try to push all the rest of the messages in one go 20 to 30 and 30 to 40 let me push all these again in one go so all these messages have been pushed to Kafka now can you guess what should be the output how many rows will be there 0 to 10 10 to 20 will 20 to 30 be there will 30 to 40 be there let's see in the output so the output is generated and you can see all the four windows are printed now 0 to 10 4 messages 10 to 20 6 messages 20 to 30 3 messages and 30 to 40 12 messages exactly the same aggregated count based on the number of actual messages which I have sent as part of my time series data so this is how spark aggregates the data spark does the window operation so this is the main logic where I am doing window operation calculating last aggregating last 10 seconds of data every 10 seconds on word column and the event timestamp I am considering is the message timestamp from the message itself uh, I hope you are able to relate it you may have read all these concepts theoretically but I hope you are able to visualize it now practically and the concepts will be more clearer to you now that that was all which I wanted to cover if you like this video please subscribe our channel share this video with others and please press the like button thank you for watching